out for strays! Venerable one. My name is Shea Patrick Hormick. I... I am a friend. A friend indeed. You have the gratitude of my people, Shea Patrick Cormac. For as long as you shall walk this earth, you will have a place here among us. My thanks. It is I who thank you, young man. Would you be so kind as to walk with me? I am called Onata. There is a legend among my people. It tells of how the land under our feet was born, and how good and evil came into this world. The Sky Woman scattered her wisdom throughout our land. If you follow her path, you shall learn the true history of our people, and perhaps even uncover the reward locked within this cave. If you are the hero I believe you to be... You honor me. Venerable one. It is you who honor us, Shay Patrick Cormac. Farewell. To me, thief here. Unfurled maids! Let's move! Come on! Start out! Let's get moving! Loose topsails, gallants and royals! Sally Brown, she's the gal for me, boys! Brief and all comes! Anchor away! Fucking overboard!
show game. So Have you lost your witch? And the devil! What happened here? Kesegawase. When we are too late. No. Fort Fredericks is nearby. I'm sure the Colonel can hold it. You heard the captain, lads! Make haste! Get the maid sails into the wind! Gallants and Royals! There's the Gallants and Royals! Keep her safe while I'm God guest. Aye, Captain.
This is Kasega Watts' work, isn't it? I believe it is. But I've not yet seen the devil. The manuscript. You keep it safe. Bring it to the Morrigan. That's an order. Who are you to give me orders? I outrank you. I'm not part of your army, Colonel. I'll take care of the defenses until you get back. Take a watch it. You truly believe you can best me, traitor. Templar dog! Hey! Hold this resistance is not in your best interest! Burn! You truly believe you can best me? Trained you well, traitor! Kisigawase. It didn't have to be this way. It did. You are an enemy. Achilles will see you dead. What he's doing is wrong. Who are you to touch? The Templars will fail. You will fail. Monroe is already dead. What do you mean? Liam... Uh, uh, uh. The manuscript. An assassin took it. Liam. I'll get it back. I swear it. Shay.
Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order? And all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets, nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost? I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. You are now a Templar, harbinger of a new world. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May, May the, the Father, Father of, of understanding, understanding guide us. Guide us. Do you understand now? I'm starting to see why you're so interested in Shay Cormac. Shay has seen the true face of the world, and he has chosen his path accordingly. A similar choice will soon present itself to you. I did not think you'd get this far, <laughs> but you seem to be on the right track. We still can't access the servers in the basement, but there's another one located at the top of the building near Melanie's office. That's your next stop. Orders are orders, and my orders are to stand right here. This office used to belong to a man named Olivier Garneau. He was my predecessor as Chief Creative Officer of Abstergo Entertainment. Otto Berg is a representative from our parent company, Abstergo Industries. He's showing you the true history of the world, just like they showed me. Olivier was kind, he was intelligent and passionate about our work. But a year ago, he caught a glimpse of this truth. They never found his body. This is not the way we normally bring people up to speed on these matters, but you've worked hard and are proving yourself, so... I'm granting you level two security access. The servers on this floor should unlock more of Shay's memories. Francois Macandal saved Baptiste from slavery and inducted him into his so-called brotherhood. Macandal was a vicious mentor, and in his desperate attempt to liberate slaves, 
He broke his own creed by indiscriminately killing nobles. Misguided as they are, some assassins are honorable. Macandal was not one of them. Thanks to the calculating genius of Madeleine de Lille, the Templars made an example of Macandal by way of public execution in 1758. His pathetic excuse for a brotherhood quickly fell apart. When his comrade and childhood friend Agaté fled to Louisiana, Baptiste saw the futility of his former life in Macandal's brotherhood. Madeleine saw Baptiste's potential and instructed her Templars in New Orleans to strike a deal with him. If he could draw Agaté out of hiding and eliminate him, he would be granted a place in the Templar order. Although Baptiste was killed by the assassin Aveline de Grandpré, his path clearly demonstrates the inherent superiority of Templar ideals over assassin terrorism. But she would just have you brought back to life and put you back to work. Shit! What's happening? Another glitch? Same one as before. Chase back at Notre Dame. See if you can complete the memory this time. Shay's in Paris, all right. I even got a date for you. 1776. At this point in time, Franklin was the American ambassador to France. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Otto Berg, professional killer and amateur historian. Swine, you should not have left your backwater colony. Ouais, retourne à Boston. In Philadelphia, actually. Oh, so he's a committee. <laughs> Is that you? Ah, how long has it been? Uh, where are my manners? Thank you, my friend, thank you. But what are you doing in Paris? With all due respect, sir, this is no time to talk. You're still in danger. Yes, I... I must return to my family. Oh! 
Thank you, Shay. Please wait for me. I just want to make sure my family is safe. How did you do that? It was quite... fortunate. I make my own look, Master Franklin, as I suspect you do. Yes, indeed, my good fellow. Yet, without your assistance today... Well, you have my thanks, Shay. Is there anything I can do for you to repay you for this... Uh, kindness? Actually, there is. I need to meet a business acquaintance. I heard he would be at the Chateau de Versailles two days from now. And they don't just let anyone inside the Royal Palace. Very well. I'll see what can be arranged. Keep trying to sequence memories out of order, which is why we're crashing like this. What do you suggest? If we progress further with Shay's life in the colonies, I'm confident we can get better results from these Paris memories. Very well. Keep me informed. Uploading the next memory sequence now. Jay Cormac, I hear you are the Templar's new don of precursor archaeology. I'm no expert, sir. I just witnessed what the assassins can do with those damn sites. I have spent years investigating precursor leads. Tell me what you have seen. Well, I know both the assassins and Templars are looking for pieces of Eden. Powerful weapons, mind control and apples, but this time it's different. We haven't found an apple, but... A tree. These temples hold the earth together like roots. Disturb them and Haiti falls or... Lisbon. Or any other place the manuscript shows. And the assassins are blindly interfering with these structures? Aye. And if we don't stop them, they'll continue destroying cities. I see. We have intelligence of assassin activity in the Lugelberg Fortress. We'll be meeting with a Royal Navy officer, James Cook. He recently gained a commission that could be strategically valuable. Gist has the charts. Very well. I'll depart shortly. Colonel Monroe, 
spoke highly of you, Shay. He was convinced you could become the best among us. I expect you will not disappoint. I don't plan to, sir. Guest, do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain Cook? Well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship is second to none. And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, he also just became captain of his own man of war. He's also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. The kind of fellow we should welcome in the Order, then. Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. Makes it a little hard to keep secret business secret, especially when his mathematical brain is clever at cracking codes. Consider him an ally, but watch what you say around him. Duly noted. Shadow. I've heard Louisbourg could be a linchpin in the war. If the Royal Navy can take that fort, it'll be clear sailing down the St. Lawrence. Then on to Quebec and Montreal. The tide is turning. General Wolfe will give that craven Montcalm a right thrashing. I've been looking forward to that since Fort William. With this bloody war over, we'll finally bring order to this damn continent. Fear would take more than that, friend. The ice takes these waters most bracing. Ships may come and ships may go as long as the seas do blow. But a sailor lad just like his dad, he loves the flowing bowl. The woman ashore. There she is! The HMS Pembroke. Captain James Cook's ship. She's a beauty. Man of war, fully armed. We should bring the Morrigan alongside. Master Kenway will surely be waiting. Welcome aboard, gentlemen. Good to see you again, Captain. Captain Shea Cormac, Captain James Cook. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Pleasure's mine, sir. Captain Cook uncovered a rather distressing stratagem, which I fear confirms our own intelligence. Indeed. As we speak, our Royal Navy fleet is on its way to Louisbourg. However, the French have drawn up a preemptive strike against it if they launch this attack. Obviously, we cannot allow that to happen. 
gentlemen. The Battle of Louisburg could very well be the turning point which will finally bring this war to a close. I don't know about you, but I've had enough of war. Then may I suggest you take the wheel, Captain Cormac? I think you might enjoy piloting a vessel with real uh, firepower. I believe I shall, Captain. Lawrence and Whitmore lead the three divisions of the Royal Navy. Who's their commander? Major General Amherst himself, back from Hanover. You take an interest in the war, Shay? Wouldn't want to disappoint you, sir. It is imperative we stop those ships, Captain. Ship. The outcome of the war is bad. Captain, those ships will have to get out of the your own mortar ships. It will prove crucial if we are to succeed. Kenway is correct, Captain. Mortars would prove most advantageous right now. The explosive shot can take away her speed! God, fire ships. Should they break through, they would devastate us. We'd better not let that happen. I recognize that vessel, sir. It's the Experto Credit. How fortunate he is that we have other priorities. Agreed. We have to get rid of those We're fire right ships. In their path. We have to stick that fire ship or get out of their way. We're ready right their path. We have to sink that fire ship or get out of their way!
have to sink that fire ship or get out of their way! Fire ships. Should they break through, they would devastate our fleet. And we'd better not let that happen. I recognize that vessel, sir! It's the Experto Credit! How fortunate he is that we have other priorities. Agreed. We have to get rid of those fire ships. She sunk! Wisdom don't always mix, Captain. This isn't over yet, lads. Man the cannons! Wisdom don't always mix, Captain. This isn't over yet, lads. Man the cannons! Wisdom don't always mix, Captain. This isn't over yet, lads. Man the cannons!
There's the Royal Navy. We cleared the way just in time, Captain Cormac. The tide of war is turning. That was quite a crack, wasn't it? It is too soon for celebrations. And Wale is still out there. I'm sure we'll get another turn to dance with him, Master Kenway. Master Kenway seems determined to destroy Adewale. Aren't you? He's a powerful man in his own right, and a symbol of hope for the assassins. Eliminating him would shake them to the core. It would, I know. But it seems a shame. He's a good man, Gist. So was the Elder Washington, and Smith. I rather enjoyed drinking with him. Wardrop, too. Though the man could not hold his liquor. He and Weeks never got along, you know. If you're trying to test my conscience, Guest, you've succeeded. We live in a time of war, Shay, but it's always wartime for us. I sound like my uncle Jedediah. He was an old sourpuss. Let me tell you. Another time, Guest. Aye, sir. Jumps a slip sole as strong as a horse. Says now, old skipper, you're miles off course. In the windy old weather, stormy old weather, and the wind blows the old Then along comes a place who's got ice. Ice ram is cutting ice. through. Says, We're carving through the ice. In the windy old weather, stormy old weather. Careful, Captain. These waters are closely watched by our enemies. There aren't enough blankets in the world to keep you warm out. 